Hello again. Tonight we're going to do some songs. Um, the first three are a little bit more on the downside, but the last one's a little bit upbeat. So this first one is, If I Could Hear My Mother Pray Again. How sweet and happy seem those days of which I dreamed when memory recalls them now and then. I can remember my mother praying, praying at home, praying at church, and a lot of times she'd be praying in tongues, and that was a blessed thing to hear. And if there was one thing I could say to her today, it's I'll meet you in the morning, just inside the eastern gate. I will meet you in the morning. Just inside the eastern gate Then be ready, faithful pilgrim Lest for you it be too late I will meet you I will meet you I'm inside the eastern gate Over there I will meet you
And I hope I do. One of the things that the Lord has impressed upon me, it's always today in heaven. When we leave earth's timeline behind, then we're going to be forever in the day. And I thank God for that. My mother went to be with Jesus in 1987. And my dad went to be with Jesus in 1994. And I think it's still today there. And they're watching for me. Yes, here on this earth we have time. We have days. We have months and years and seasons. But up there, it's always today. This song says, Nearer my God to Thee. Nearer my God to Thee, nearer to Thee, even though it be a cross that raises me, still all my song shall be near. This last song talks about little David and the battles, because the battle's not mine. Well, the battle's not mine, said little David, for it's thine, I'm in your favor. I knew King do. I knew not what to do. I'm so glad you let me see. You're really all that I need, for the battle's not mine, yet it is too. Oh, 
Praise the Lord. The battle's not mine. I just heard on some news reports a while ago that they are actually admitting that there is demonic activity and they're, they're doing praying and demonic praying uh, before they do this stuff that they're doing with the uh, killings and the looting and the burning and the stealing. You can tell that Satan was behind what was going on. It's evil. It's very evil. But we as the children of God have got a strong God. He's stronger than Goliath. He's stronger than any of the enemies out there. And when the enemy says, God can't do anything about this, I've got news for them. My God is awesome. And my God is able to do abundantly above anything we can ask or even think. Now, just think about that for a minute. God can do greater things than what you can imagine or think. Not only that, he says that he will answer even before we pray. And I thank God for that. He does want us to pray. He wants us to talk to him. He wants us to be a part of what he is doing. And I know there are a lot of people that are very, very hurt right now. A lot of people going through a lot of difficult stuff. The fires out west are horrible. Uh, the fires in Oregon have already destroyed a church and uh, the homes of half of the people that attend that church, plus the high school that they go to. My friend Judy is out there in Oregon, and she made the statement that there's an another wildfire coming fast toward them. And I want you to pray that God will prevent them th from being caught with that. God can stop the fires. But it's possible that he's sending the fires to try to get people to turn to him and to call out to him. I'm praying for the firefighters. I have a second cousin who's out there right now fighting some of those fires. And I pray that God will protect her and keep her in the center of his hand and the center of his will. I pray that each and every one of you walk with Jesus. Put your hand in the hand of Jesus and let him lead you where he wants you to go. Because that's where you're really going to want to go. God bless you is so, so very much. We appreciate each and every one of you. We thank you for listening in. And I will let you know that I will be on again tomorrow. But tomorrow it's going to be about 5 o'clock because I have prayer meeting tomorrow evening. But then uh, Thursday and Friday, I will have my husband. I will make some videos and have my husband put them on for Thursday and Friday because I get to go to a ladies retreat. And I'm looking forward to it. It's a wonderful, wonderful time 
for this ladies to get together and hear the word of God and meet with Jesus. And we're looking forward to that. God bless you is our prayer. Have a 